princess, right? Something like that. Diana, explain yourself. His arrival is a sign. Man's world needs our help. Mother, are you truly willing to throw away everything you are for the mere chance of helping them? It's Wonder Woman! Blast her! I take it deliberations are over. It did not go well. You really are something special, you know that? I do so love mass destruction. Poison and Cyber may have declared war on Themyscira. And it's time to fight. Show me the path to Themyscira. I'm here at New York Comic Con, and we're talking about Wonder Woman Bloodlines, and I'm here with Courtney Taylor. Yes. Who plays Dr. Poison. Yes. And Mojan Marno. Okay, thank you. And you're playing Dr. Cyber. That's right. All right, so a couple of doctors, Sorry, and of course, people. you're a part of Villainy, Inc.? Yes. <laughs> Why do you ask? I have a PhD, mm, not an MD. So smart. <laughs> so smart. So as one of Wonder Woman's oldest adversaries, do you know how to make her vulnerable in this picture? Yes. All the poison and gases and things that are going to make her little head spin. So I'm very excited. Okay. And do you know how to find Themyscira? Uh, n you triangulate it from the plane that you stole from Wonder Woman. That's it. That's the thing. Major plot point. That's the, right, cool. that's the thing. <laughs> Can you give us a brief synopsis of Dr. Cyber in this film? Uh, am I allowed to? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, bad guy. Uh, yeah. There you go. All bad. So, so did you guys have a lot of fun making this film? It was great. I actually got to uh, sit, um, I got to record with Chris Summer, uh, and she is amazing. So, uh, like, she's... So it was super fun to get to sit down also with the, you know, great guys who were crafting this whole thing and then get to work with her and side by side, just get to see how she does things. So, because I've done projects with her, but never been in the same room. So that was a highlight. I was alone by myself in a room with no windows. Yes. So that's how we roll. I guess it was fun, but... <laughs> It's way more fun. Let me just tell you that when you're used to not having anyone else in the room, it all plays out in your head the way it's supposed to. Actually, when there's someone else acting with you, I'm always like, "What? Uh, I'm sorry, who's speaking yeah, right yeah, now?" Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, don't I think just want to talk to myself. Yeah, I've never done a any kind of voice acting with another person, like yeah. another actor. They in don't the room. usually let us together because we talk too much. Okay. That's usually what happens. They well, don't get anything done, so you know, like now, like now. <laughs> Well, by this exchange. <laughs> well, I want to thank you guys for joining us on Toon Barn here at New York Comic Con. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Thank you. You know her from the regular show in Fallout 4. She is our Dr. Poison today and tonight. Say hi to Courtney Taylor. And her evil counterpart, Dr. Cyber, you know her from the Blacklist and House of Cards, Mojan Mono! You all uh, do on camera. What was it like being in the booth? Some, a couple of you for the first time. Uh, yeah, the, I mean, this was my first animated film. And, um, <laughs> And uh, it's, I mean, it's just very different, you know, you're, uh, you have to generate a lot um, of, the, of the relationship, of the world, everything. You have to generate the whole thing on your own because you don't have the other actors in the room with you like you would on camera. So you're alone, I mean, with a director and a producer and <laughs> in the booth with your script and you, just your lines. So it requires a lot of imagination and a lot of a create, like self-generating the, the relationship and the world of, of the film in a way that you don't have on camera. I, I come from voiceover as well. And the one I have done on camera, I'm like, why do they keep touching me? Everyone wants to like fix your hair and your lipstick, or maybe just mine. But um, and and it's odd because someone's actually talking to you. It's not playing out in my head. So I'll be like, 
who said that? That was not me. <laughs> and there's an actual person sitting there. So, um, but having done a, a bit, fair bit of voiceover in my life to sit in this room with all of you guys and watch this for the first time and have it be this property, Wonder Woman, I was literally like, <gasps> I got taken back to being like eight, nine years old. It's like, this is so powerful and you guys did such a great job with it. It literally just like teleported me. Like I haven't had an experience like that. Most of the time in video games and stuff, you're just in a room, but seeing it on the big screen and seeing how great everything looked and, um, and getting to sit next to Ros Rosario while she was crying <laughs> was just, it was all awesome. good. Like, Are you crying? <laughs> I did say the Dr. Poison's voice. I know, totally. Are you crying? <laughs> I killed you. I thought I killed you. I do so love mass destruction. Poison and Cyber may have declared war on Themyscira. But if there's one thing Amazons know, it's how to fight a war. You just had to wait for the dramatic entrance, didn't you? I thought you liked a little drama.